For the first time in three years, the acclaimed Lucille Ball Comedy Festival is back in full force in Jamestown, which is Lucy's hometown. And the National Comedy Center has an exciting lineup this year. Joining us now to talk about what's in store is the center's executive director, Journey Gunderson. Journey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So I have to ask you, how good does it feel to be back in person after three years? Oh, it feels so good to be back live presenting a comedy festival that is one of the most well-respected and popular comedy festivals anywhere in the nation. Uh, here in Jamestown, New York, Lucille Ball's hometown, the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival, but also to be presenting it uh, from what was just named the best new museum in the country by USA Today. So now uh, visitors who maybe have enjoyed the festival for years can couple the attendance to the live comedy shows with a visit to this museum experience that is unmatched. Uh, and they can see greats like Margaret Cho, who Rolling Stone named to its list of top 50 stand-up comedians of all time right here in Jamestown Thursday night. Uh, Jeff Foxworthy, truly one of the best who's ever done it live. Uh, whether you identify as a blue collar comedy fan or not, Jeff Foxworthy is respected in the comedy world as being one of the best joke smiths, one of the best craftsmen of a stage set. So see him live while you can. He's truly legendary and he's featured here in the museum, uh, as is Margaret Cho. We have the Saturday Night Live alum, uh, Kevin Neal and David Spade, Rob Schneider. We have a free kids comedy show on Saturday, August 6th, Lucille Ball's birthday, and late night comedy showcases every night, block parties. And again, you can couple this consumption of comedy at the festival with a visit to a museum that was also placed on Time's World's Greatest Places list. And we just cut the ribbon on the extraordinary exhibit celebrating the legacy of none other than Carl Reiner. You just went through so many incredible things between the lineup, things you can expect at the festival, the upcoming exhibits. Really quickly, I want to talk about, you know, the history of this festival and really what, what helped it become such a respected comedy festival like you just mentioned. That's interesting. Yeah, the origin truly lies with Lucille Ball herself. And we all know now, uh, especially she's had such a big year with the amazing documentary that Amy Poehler did, Amy Poehler did on Lucy and Desi uh, and the Aaron Sorkin film. Lucille Ball was a visionary. She was also a very savvy businesswoman. So it's no wonder she said to Jamestown officials in the late 80s, don't just celebrate me, don't just celebrate Lucy nostalgia. Make Jamestown a destination for the celebration of comedy as an art form. And that has manifested in the form of the festival festival, as well as the National Comedy Center Museum. We at the National Comedy Center also operate the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Museum just a couple of blocks away. So now Jamestown, in terms of being a destination for comedy, isn't just a one day thing. You can spend days here and truly not consume at all. Most people leave the museum saying, I didn't expect to laugh for four hours straight in a museum and I just did. Uh, and they could really spend four days and not consume everything within. It truly is so wonderful. Earlier, you mentioned the Carl Reiner exhibit, and I know you have an upcoming um, Johnny Carson exhibit as well. What can you tell us about those two exhibits? Uh, these are two incredible legacies that we're celebrating this year because it's the centennial of Carl Reiner. Uh, and with regard to Carson, it's 30 years of late night, 30 years later. Uh, when it comes, what you're seeing here is the family of Carl Reiner, Rob Reiner, Lucas, and also, Annie Reiner came uh, to cut the ribbon. You know, he was... And his legacy is unmatched in terms of the ripple effect. So we're talking about collaborations with Steve Martin in film greats like The Jerk. We're talking about The Dick Van Dyke Show. We're talking about The 2,000-Year-Old Man with Mel Brooks. It's an exhibit where, where you will learn, but you will be laughing and enjoying a look at some of the best comedy in our comedy's great heritage. Uh, when it comes to Johnny Carson, most people can't believe it when I say it, that it was 30 years ago that he stepped down from his reign uh, in late night. And we all know now, looking back, he set the standard for the format. Uh, he was the king of the monologue, and the exhibit features the voices uh, of, of his peers and people whose lives were changed by The Tonight Show. Uh, you are hearing from Steve Martin, Martin Short, George Wallace, Byron Allen, Bette Midler, Lily Tomlin, and more. And you're learning about his 30-year reign uh, as the king of late night. It's, it's an absolutely magical experience, and it's hosted by hologram Jimmy Fallon in our uh, theater environment here in the Comedy Center. 
We're also celebrating the opening of that exhibit when we do a stage show celebration of Carson's legacy on Saturday, August 13th, one week after the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival concludes. So that will be here in Jamestown as well, Saturday, August 13th, called Carson Tonight. Wow, busy lineup for you, Journey, down in uh, Jamestown. Very quickly, let's wrap with all the logistics for the Comedy Festival. Tickets, days, times, everything like that. Sure. So all of this information is available at ComedyCenter.org by just hitting the Events tab. So go to ComedyCenter.org, our homepage, and look for Events. And that's where you can get uh, festival tickets as well as tickets to the Carson Show on Saturday, August 13th. And you can also make a reservation for your admission to the museum that I'm standing within right now in front of our great comedy continuum exhibit. This is 37,000 square feet of exhibit space, one of the most interactive and immersive experiences in any museum worldwide, coupled with artifacts. So you're also standing in the presence of the DNA of the greats of all time, from Charlie Chaplin's Kane to Wardrobe from The Carol Burnett Show to Carlin's 25,000 piece archive. I saw that continuum myself, and it truly is such a blast. Journey, that is all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us and telling us.